In search of the mysterious, I continue to wonder what lies above, trying to discover something deeply profound, in which words cannot describe. Even if it is known, to everyone there is still something unknown. For me, it is a journey of wonder and discovery. Have you ever been in a moving vehicle and looked out the window? That is exactly what I'm doing. The deeper I can see, the more I bring to light the mystery that lies out our window. This time peering deeply into the constellation of Orion. My eyes are limited, but by one ancient photon after another, I can piece together a puzzle that is 1,500 light years away. If any of you are wondering, yeah, I decided to move out to the country um, and, and farm beets like Dwight from the office. So this is night three for me, imaging the Horsehead Nebula Complex. Um, the Orion Nebula is going to be one of my focuses tonight where I do some low exposure images this way that I can really capture the core and create this HDR image in just that region of the Orion Nebula. And then I'm going to set the aperture to my Rokinon to f2.8, really open it up and try to get as much wideband signal tonight as I can. So night two, I collected about five plus hours of pure wideband data. I got some magnificent data. I'm really, really happy about it. Having like Bortle 3 skies out here is just amazing for that kind of capture. So it's new moon tonight, but incredibly cold. It's going to be like 26 degrees, I think, around 4 a.m. right when I need to do a meridian flip. And so that's going to be interesting. Um, so I am going to be lonelier. Usually I have my calico cat out here meowing at me and I, I can pet her, but uh, yeah, my, my mom stole my cat. Man, it's getting cold out here, but the stars are just looking phenomenal. It's time to open her up to 2.8. Oh, the stars are amazing. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can see Jupiter at least. But, oh, Orion's gonna be rising soon out here. And that's gonna happen around probably around 11, 20-ish p.m. tonight, but I probably won't start imaging until around 12.30 in the morning. That's when it's at least at about 30 degrees in altitude and I can start imaging. So I have a little bit of a different setup. I think I need to keep my laptop a little bit warmer tonight. And so um, it's just gonna have kind of a, a blanket over it not smothering it, but just kind of keeping some warm air around it. Hoping I don't have any weird restarts during the middle of my imaging session. So, wow, this is
cat. Come here, cat. Oh, wait. Mom stole my cat. Gotta find some pieces of wood to prop my laptop up inside that wagon. Um, in a way that the fans can still work and it can breathe, but it's not being smothered by blankets. probably going to be hard to see but Orion has just risen above me and so it's getting closer to that time um, it's like 10 30 right now only but it's not high enough in altitude I don't want to image through all that atmosphere I want it to get a little higher before I start taking subframes but uh, right now um, I'm PhD 2 calibrating um, gonna be guiding on some stars and taking some sample shots on the Pleiades just to make sure that my low exposures at this new f2.8 is kind of locked in and i'm ready to go that i can kind of debug anything i need to with this pleiades test shot that i'm going to be doing here but man the stars are great and orion is looking beautiful through the window of the night i draw the light of an ancient sight where man way before once looked and wondered in the mystery. And now once more we look again and wonder of its history. Were there ancient planets and stars that formed from the cosmic dust which we adore? Were there life forms like us who viewed us from their back door?